Hi, I'm Lucy in East Jerusalem. Welcome to GPAC and to the Peace Education Working Group. GPAC is the Global Partnership for Prevention of Armed Conflict, a membership-based organization working throughout the world to promote pr not just prevention of conflict, but to promote peace and activism within civil society, which includes educating for peace, which is what our working group specializes in. As specialists, we have developed online courses for educators, including bringing a really broad understanding of what we mean by peace education. We are offering three courses, core skills for teaching peace, conflict resolution education, and social emotional learning in the classroom, which begins on Monday, the 26th of September. Two, social emotional learning conflict resolution and peace education through technology, which begins on the 24th of October, and protection from digital violence by using critical thinking, which starts on the 3rd of October. As you can gather from these titles, these are courses designed to help teachers acquire competencies and skills needed in this messy and uncertain part of the 21st century. Social emotional learning, critical thinking, digital and media literacy. These are vital skills for all of us and especially for teachers and especially for young people growing up now. The courses are a combination of practical hands-on exercises and theoretical background. They offer not only new learning, but a chance to work and learn with other educators from across the globe and from varied walks of life in a truly enriching and empowering set of courses. Please sign up. Thank you. Renee, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us about the course you took on um, the uh, teaching social emotional learning, conflict resolution, and peace ed through technology. We'd love for you to share a little bit about the organization you work with, your country, and then how you were able to apply some of this to your work with the Senegalese Scouts, and then the the policy in your country thanks thank you for giving me this opportunity to to share on uh, uh, <coughs> on the outcomes which uh, just after my certification i am uh, rene gomis i am from senegal west africa i joined the uh, discourse as a responsible uh, of Scout, the Scout of Senegal, where I have been working for three years now as the responsible for the strategy. So I went through uh, this certification, which is very, very interesting. So just after uh, this certification, we were working on a, a policy called the self, uh, we were working on a policy called the self from harm. And, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, piloted by the World uh, Scout Organization. So locally, we, we have to contribute. So after this application, with the learning I got from uh, the digital literacy, so this allowed me to work on it, to work on the part to introduce uh, something like a, a part dealing with digital literacy. And beyond, I think that uh, with uh, cyber bullying, I shared some good practices with some scout groups, groups here in Dakar. And uh, as also we were developing uh, a, a policy on child protection. So we, we, we take this, uh, this module on cyber bullying as a background, background document, which allow us to introduce uh, this uh, social network uh, tools. Hi, 
Bach, it's wonderful to see you again. Thank you so much for taking the core skills for teaching peace, conflict resolution education, and social emotional learning. Can you please tell us um, your name, your organization, what country you're from, and then how did you find this course useful, please? Mm, yes, thank you. Um, my name is Nkumbok Nguong, and people call me as a Bok. And currently, I am working uh, with Myanmar Education Consortium, hosted by Safe Children International. And I am from Myanmar, and I took a uh, piece uh, of conflict resolution and also social emotional learning course in 2020 when we have a pandemic. The course was very useful, uh, especially I am working with ethnic education service provider who are operating in public affected area. So by um, through the course, I learned about social emotional learning, which is really uh, useful for uh, for the children in the conflict affected area. Uh, since the group in Myanmar, a lot of people are mentally and physically uh, unstable. And then by having a social emotional learning implementing in school, the children can have uh, their emotion emotion and mental be healed uh, through this uh, program implementation through my work. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Tatiana Popovic and I am peace educator from Serbia, working for Nansen Dialogue Center in Serbia and cooperating with peace educators from all over the Western Balkans and from several countries in the world. Today it is my pleasure to announce the upcoming JIPA course, which is titled Protection from Digital Violence by Using Critical Thinking. These days, we are witnessing a rapid development and usage of digital technologies. Digital technologies tools are present in our everyday life situations in any profession. We are aware of all benefits and we almost cannot live without them these days. During the pandemic, the sil silver lining was that uh, opportunity to work online saved many lives and many jobs. However, there are many potential dangers online and we are well aware of that. Having this in mind, the objectives of this course are to offer some new tools on how to protect ourselves, our co-workers and students when working online. Then to practice new skills and useful skills together through the interactive workshops. And also to prepare participants for future activities so that they can pass on the knowledge and skills that they learned during the course to their students, co-workers, with whomever they, they work in their immediate surroundings. So the questions for you are, do you need new tools on these themes? Do you like to collaborate from people from all over the world? If the answers are yes, then this is the course for you.